from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, kick off your week with a hot Monday, full of all of the juiciest hot topics. And Marvin Gaye's family won millions from Pharrell and Robin Thicke. Now, they're fighting over who gets the money. Nancy Red from HuffPost Live has the inside scoop. Plus, beauty guru Bobby Brown shows us the hottest makeup trends for spring. Now, here's Wendy! to be here. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Thank you for being here. Everybody have a seat. Oh, oh I can't read. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath. Oh. First of all, you know, I spent the weekend in Tampa, Florida. That's the home of HSN, where, um, you know, I just... I just have to shout out to everybody who, you know, got some of my things from my Wendy line. It is officially, officially, after them being in business for about 38 years, the highest debut in the history of HSN. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I, I had such a good time. This is the um, so thank you again. Um, um, okay, so Mariah Carey has a new man. At least that's what she wants you to believe. Because I know what I believe. But first I'll give the story, and then I, you know, I always come with an opinion. Okay, so Mariah reportedly is dating her longtime friend, the director, Brett Ratner. Well, it happens sometimes when you're friends with somebody for a long time and then you go through a horrible breakup and then you see your friend in a different light. That has happened before, you know, in the history of love. Uh, TMZ is reporting that um, they got this picture of them, which we have the picture. Um, that's them in St. Bart on a yacht of one of his business partners. Now, now um, Brett is a director. He's directed a lot of Mariah's videos, but he also is um, a, a partner with uh, some guy named Packard. And whatever it is that they do, they, it's a billion-dollar company. So if you're worried about him taking Mariah's money, I believe he has more, <laughs> you know? Um, Brett is denying that they're dating. He says that they're best friends. Why are they on the yacht, you ask? Well, reportedly, one celebrates a birthday like on March you know, 18th, and then the other's birthday is March 19th. So they decided to go away and celebrate together on the yacht in St. Bart. Yes, they do look cozy. He's got on the crown because it's his birthday. Um, do, do I think that this is a real, real relationship? I hope not. <laughs> look, I don't know the man. I've never met him, but, but I've read a lot of different things about him, and they're not necessarily the nicest things. Um, um, he re you know who he reminds me of? Like, he reminds me of Joe Francis. Like, kind of oily and slimy. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he, like, like he's, he's, he's like Joe Francis, like, in my mind. <laughs> All right, and as far as who Brett has dated, he's dated Serena Williams. And, and so he's down with the swirl, and he's also dated Lindsay Lohan. I don't know that I want to be Lindsay's cleanup woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, you know... <laughs> this is not... You know, when I... And I told you guys I need Mariah to go out and date and, you know, and date often and get lots of boyfriends or else just one particular boyfriend. And I never gave her an example of what I wanted her to have <laughs> because I just didn't think that she would go here. <laughs> 
<laughs> but now it looks like I have to start giving examples. I'm, I'm talking about, like, you need a boyfriend that we don't know. You know what you need? You need a boyfriend like Kamora Simmons' husband, Tim Lister. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know, the, the king of Goldman Sachs, Singapore, plenty of money, but he's not doing movies. He'll squire you around and treat you like gold. And he's, most of all, he's not famous. <laughs> Mariah, you don't need a famous man. You need like a hedge fund king or, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Do I believe that these two have gotten it in before? Yeah. You know, he has been known to talk about how terrific he is in bed. That, that's an oily move, you know what I mean? <laughs> how terrific he is in bed. And um, I, Mariah, you're, you're not winning with this guy. Nick is still winning. By the way, this is also a guy who, um, Ratner, he's never had a drink or a drug in his entire life. What? Now see, can I be honest with you? <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh, go ahead, you always do. Look, I am looking at you side-eye if you've never had a drink or a drug in your entire life. Now, if you, were, if you went to AAA because then you had a problem and you're sober, that's one thing. But to have never in your life had a drink or a dr I have a friend like that. And I only stay friends with her because it's like a science experiment. <laughs> It's like a science experiment. It's like, wow, who lives their life completely sober all the time unless you've had a problem and then you... Life is too tough not to enjoy a martini. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I, I, I would, I'm suspicious of people. That's, is, is there anybody in the audience who's never had a drink or a drug in their entire life, not even the college years? You? Good for... I'm suspicious. <laughs> and, and you two also? Good for you. I'm suspicious. I'll be up there during commercial break. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, Mariah, good luck on your next find because we are not impressed by this one. Jamie Foxx, everybody's making a big deal over you, except for me. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to give you the business. Okay, so last night, this award show that came out of nowhere, I might add, the iHeart Radio Music Show. Did you watch? No. What channel was it on? <laughs> it was on NBC? <laughs> NBC? NBC. Oh. No, WNBC. <laughs> No. Uh, all right, so it was on last night, um, and Jamie apparently was the host, and reportedly he uh, made a remark about Bruce Jenner, and it sparked outrage on social media. Take a look. We got Bruce Jenner will be here doing some musical performances. He's doing a his and her duet all by himself. Look, I'm just busting the ball while I still can. Give it up! I, I, I clap if you were offended by that. Be honest. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I, I wasn't offended by that at all, and I was shocked to find out that most of my staffers here weren't offended, including my gay staffers. Um, and we all agreed that everybody is just too... Touchy, you know, like people are just too. My, you know, my uh, my problem with the joke is that it was corny. Yeah. It wasn't offensive. It was just corny, and I wasn't offended by Jamie. Jamie has a high booty and reportedly, reportedly has naked basketball games with his friends at his house. Oh. I'm just saying. So you shouldn't be offended by what Jamie says. Um, anyway, uh, lots of stars came out to this iHeart Radio award show that popped up out of nowhere that we didn't see. We missed Rihanna. She sang her new song, Bitch Better Have My Money. <laughs> well... And there's a helicopter on stage. I love it. Yes, she is channeling little Kim from the Crush On You video. But, uh...
Everybody's got to channel somebody, I guess. Hi, Kim. Hi, Royal Ring. Oh, he's giving it up. That man stood up, gave it up to a legend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So anyway, but, um, all right, so she performed that song. I don't like that song. Do you like that song? Yeah. Like, here's my problem with the song. And, and, and my boys recorded, you know, the performance for me to say, they said, you might like it better if you see the performance. I still don't like the song. And you know what I don't like about it? It's not the title or Rihanna's voice. It's the production. I don't know, you know, as a person coming from radio, or, you, uh, you know, I like music. So you, there are two different things in music. You listen to the lyrics and then you listen to the production. I hate the, pro I hate the music that she's singing over. And I was like, who the hell pr produced that? And my boys told me it was Kanye. Oh. I, I had no idea. I had, I had no idea. Anyway, um, on to Madonna. Madonna was at this, uh, show, oh, this award show that none of us saw. <laughs> and she performed her song with Taylor Swift. It's Madonna's song, Taylor's backing her up. You know what I love about this right here? That Madonna looks like a teenager. Yeah. And I mean that in the best way. <laughs> yes! I haven't seen her with long hair like in forever, but she, and then we asked, I asked, you know, a lot of my staffers here, the guys, who'd you rather? You know that game, who'd you rather? Do it to. <laughs> Overwhelmingly, my guys were like Madonna hands down. <laughs> and if you're, if you're wondering um, why Taylor is all of a sudden dressed so provocative, provocatively and not in like a pair of Keds and her girl next door outfit. <laughs> well, it's because she's performing with Madonna. I guess she feels as though she's got to get into the raunch, you might think, but what I found out is no, she's got a new boyfriend. Oh. I know, let's talk about it. Yeah. Okay, so she's been single for 26 months. We count here, <laughs> that, that's what we do. Today's tea is exceptional. <laughs> the right amount of sweet to the right amount of lemon. Good. Anyway, um, apparently she's been spending time dating this DJ, Calvin Harris. They were spotted at the Whole Foods in matching outfits. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to like to match a boyfriend. You're like, you know, do a little revamp. It's corny, I know. But... You know, when you first fall in love, it is corny. Everything about you becomes corny, you, you know, just for a moment. <laughs> anyway, and then later on that night, they were spotted getting cozy at a Kenny Chesney concert. And I don't like this relationship. Everybody needs love, but not at the expense. First of all, people say that he's gorgeous. He's the new face of Armani. When you build me up and tell me somebody's gorgeous, I just expect more. He's not a bad looking man. Then I said, all right, well, show me more of him. So let's show them more and maybe people will say, okay, he is gorgeous. Listen. I was just expecting more. I don't know. He's six feet five. Does that change your mind? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> um, but if it's good for Taylor, and you know, she's five feet 11, so as tall girls, we need a tall guy, and so good for her. Apparently, but this is what I don't like about their relationship. Because it's being said in the streets that he's just doing this for his career. That he, he is the wealthiest um, DJ now on the planet. Sorry, DJ Boof. Um, <laughs> but he's, he's the wealth, wealthiest DJ on the planet. And people say that his career is what moves his life. Not girls or your feelings or, or I, you know, whatever. And, and I can appreciate that. But 
that you like you don't play with girls' hearts that way. And kind of that's why I don't like Taylor being with him because you know she's very emotional. You can tell by her music. He's going to end up breaking her heart. Certainly, being DJ Calvin Harris is great. I mean, I heard his name. I never saw him before, and we never talked about him on Hot Topics, which means that being with Taylor has brought him brought his uh, you know thing up. Because now I'm talking to you guys about who this guy is. Um, and then I looked back because I wanted to know, you know, all right, well, who was he dated? Well, he dated Rita Ora. Oh. Who I still don't know what she, who, she, who, what does she do? I mean, shout out to all of our friends watching in, in England. I guess she's just good over there because over here, like, I hear her every once in a while on Elvis Duran's show, but I couldn't, uh, you know, he'll be like, and this is Rita Ora. I'm like, oh, well, this is Rita Ora. And then I get distracted by something and change the station. <laughs> I, like, I don't, you, you know what I know? And, and Rita Ora famously allegedly cheated wildly on Rob Kardashian and broke his heart, but that allegedly is not why Rita Ora and DJ um, Calvin Harris, <laughs> why, why they broke up. Allegedly, they broke up because he blocked her from performing a song that she wanted to perform on an award show. So if you have a boyfriend and he's your boyfriend and you want to perform on an award show, you would expect that your boyfriend would not block the song. But see, so this is the kind of guy I think that this, this, um, de <laughs> <laughs> You know what? All I keep thinking of DJ Diplo because, because that, that rhymes, like Diplo. But, um, all I'm saying is that Okay, so Calvin Harris is an opportunist. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, at least we know. But can somebody please send Taylor a telegram and let her know <laughs> that this guy is using her status for a come up so we can talk about her own hot topic for him. <laughs> Did you see Karuchi Tran's um, yeah. th interview on... Um, oh, well, clap if you did. Where were you all watching HSN? Because it was on the same time that I... Like, like yeah, it was on the same time. I, I mean... <laughs> no, I, I mean, I didn't see it, but even if I was home, I had no interest in seeing it because I feel like we know why Karuchi was with... Um, Chris Brown, but Ayanla, who I love Ayanla um, Von Zant, but the, the, all right, anyway. <laughs> <sighs> she claims, you know, that she was with Chris because, you know, nice personality and whatever, whatever, whatever. She was with Chris because she's a thought who was after the dollar. <laughs> I mean, this is not this is not exactly a girl who has her own business and her own coins. That's the stupidest question ever to ask a girl of this nature. Like, why is she with a celebrity who's wealthy? Duh. <laughs> For a come up. Anyway, Karuchi claims that she finished, she's finished with Chris after he had that surprising baby and she found out about it on the internet. Th wait, because there are a few other things my boys watched, and um, in between watching HSN. Long grave. As a matter of fact, you DVR'd it, right? DVR'd it and watched it later. Okay. <laughs> anyway, take a look. Well, he's yeah, he's he's said he's sorry. He's dropped flowers off and tried to you know say sorry and be back in good graces. What is he not... sorry for? For everything. He's sorry for. What he's put me through. Do you really ever think you'd go back to him? Mm, no. 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 Right now, I, I'm. I'm saying no. Exactly. You caught it right now. Look. When we found out about the baby and that they broke up, do you remember? Were you watching that day? Do you remember what I said? I said they will be back together before Easter, <laughs> which is coming up on Sunday. They might be back together right now. M you know, my thing with Karuchi, and we can't blame her, there's not room at Harvard for everybody. You know, they're, 
No, 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 I mean that, I mean that. You know, they, there are some girls who have to date for a come up, but my thought with going back to him is that, or any celebrity, is that it's just not a good look. Karuchi, you're 26 years old. It's time that you work on yourself. Because I gotta tell you, cutie, and she is cute, but cute only lasts for this long. Cute girls are a dime a dozen. There are girls in this audience that are cuter than you. <laughs> number one. You need to go to school and figure out a plan in life to get your own money, because I'm sure Oprah paid you to be on this, um, on this show. And, but you know what, that wouldn't have even been a coin that I would want. And Oprah, what has happened to you? <laughs> now look, Oprah, not for nothing. When you first got on, do you remember some of the things that you said you weren't gonna do reality TV? In the meantime, you've got nothing but ratchetness and reality <laughs> on that, Oprah. <laughs> Oprah, welcome to the basement. It's nice down here. <laughs> <laughs> Ratchet. <laughs> All right, so apparently Jennifer Lopez and Casper Smart never broke up. Oh. Well, we've got the proof they were recently spotted kissing. Oh. Uh-huh. And then that's not really a kiss, that's like a corny kiss. Like her lips are real tight, but his are, his are good. They're like over hers. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and. And um, according to TMZ, they faked their breakup to help um, her career. Oh. Jen, the only person that called this was my husband. You know, nobody else called it. I'm like, no, why would, she, why would she fake a breakup? She wears her heart on her sleeve. And he was like, because she's got, because he's got that movie coming out, yo. That's how we talk. <laughs> She's, she's got that movie coming out, yo, where, you know, she, she's the teacher and she falls in love with her student. Remember the movie? And so a lot of times what famous people do is they fake being single so that we're more attracted to them and they're more desirable to us, except that only works if your fan base is under 25. <laughs> like, you know, you know, as a grown woman, I don't care whether George Clooney is married or not. He's still a nice looking man. And if I want to go see a George Clooney movie, I'm not thinking about his wife, I'm all. <laughs> you know, but, but that's because we're grown here. Anyway, uh, so there's a picture of that. Okay, they announced their breakup in June, but they were spotted in a convertible in August. Casper's at the wheel. And then in December, as in just a few months ago, Casper's dog attacked um, somebody in the backyard. And, and, and it was at Jennifer's house. And Casper ran out of the house in pajama bottoms. Oh. So in other words, they never broke up. This was for the purpose of promoting the movie. Only thing is, Jen, it, guys love the way you look, but they're not the ones that buy your music or go to the movies. Like, you're a chick flick girl. We girl, we girl. And, and so we, we want you to be together with somebody and happy. Like, the only reason why guys go to Jennifer Lopez movie is because we drag them along. You know what I mean? Anyway, Jen, I hope you enjoyed fooling us. And congratulations, you do have love in your life. Yeah. And we, well, we have more great show for you, everybody. Makeup guru, my girl, Bobby Brown is here. Bobby's gonna show us how to get the latest celebrity makeup trends. But up next, the gay kids won millions. I'll explain after this. shared this with anybody, not even my husband, my son, my parents, I've got a secret. And the secret is, I love doing hot topics. Plus, the very handsome Michael Ealy. They love you, blue eyes. They love you. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. We've got some juicy stories from HuffPost Live. Please say hello to our new friend, Nancy Red. Welcome to the show, Nancy. All right, we're so excited. We're gonna start with the gay kids. The gay kids. They're fighting. <laughs> Not enjoy. only are the gay kids fighting, but they are also coming out. 
Uh huh. Well, I'm actually talking about Marvin <laughs> Gaye's kids. So right now, <laughs> I know we got jokes. <laughs> yep. All right, let's talk about the blurred line. We're lines. talking about the blurred line situation right here. Uh, $7.4 million was awarded to the Marvin Gaye family because it was deemed that Robin Thicke and Pharrell did steal a song that was used to make the super popular uh, song. Yeah. All right, that's great. When you have that amount of money, people are going to come out of the woodworks, right? And I was the one who said, I don't know whether you recall when I reported this story, I said, okay, the next thing we're going to read about is the gay kids are fighting with each other. <laughs> I called it. You called it, and it's happening. But it's actually not the kids. It's actually Marvin Gaye's sisters. So his sister, Ziola. She looks fabulous. Z, okay. fabulous. Okay, can we just all hope to look like Z when we're in our 60s? Yeah. Yes, okay. Well, she's not feeling so fabulous right now. She says she's kind of strapped for cash. She could use the help. And she delivers a little bit of that $7.4 million okay, that they were Z, awarded. Sit down. All right, well, here's the thing. Sit down. It's complicated as it always is. So we're in a situation where Marvin Gaye's ex-wife is... I'm, I'm over here. Okay. Uh, let's, talk to, let's talk to each other on the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, go ahead. All right. So, all right. <laughs> I, I'm just saying this is the first time on the show. Go ahead. Thank you for making me feel comfortable. Just go ahead. All right, so Marvin Gaye's in the situation. Uh, Marvin Gaye's ex-wife is not interested in really talking to Z because a long time ago, uh, Z um, actually wrote a tell-all where she suggested that Marvin Gaye's wife, Jan, was cheating on Marvin Gaye. With? With? Rick James, allegedly. Oh! Allegedly. Okay. All right, now let's, uh, let's show an older picture of Marvin and, and uh, yeah, that's them. And they were married for 30 years. Both of the siblings are from Marvin and the wife. So right. they're, yeah. And so she is not interested at all in really talking to Z about this situation. But it's a little more complicated because the interesting thing about it being complicated is the fact that Z is actually singing on the song that I don't care. Nine and I don't, I don't care about that she either. She is a part of that song, y'all. You don't care about that? No, because... She it, contributed to the $7.4 million being awarded. Nope, because you know what? This is like... Hi, Wanda. It's like if I, had, if I was a singer and my sister Wanda came to see me in the studio and, you know, we order pizza and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm feeling good. I say, you know what, Wanda? Grab the microphone. Just get on this. I don't picture that there was paperwork in between. And I heard she wasn't on the whole song. She was she's only on the, the whole song. Only in the beginning. She's not on the whole song. But I'm going to tell you this. What she says is she wasn't feuding with Jan, the ex-wife. She would be more in a financial situation when it comes to $7.4 million. She also feels that Marvin would be devastated if he, she, he knew Marvin what was happening with the kids and Jan and the sisters, he'd just be devastated because, you know. This is more about the $7.5 million that needs to go to both of those kids. And Z, if they so feel fit to cut you a check, then maybe they will. Anyway, let's move on to Zane from One Direction. So well, apparently the fans are furious, right? More money, more problems uh, when it comes to that. When it comes to Zane, the fans are furious. Basically, 22-year-old Zane, you called it. You said Zane needs to quit One Direction. Okay, excuse me, Zane needs to be fired from One Direction. I, I said either fire or quit. Yep, and he must have watched the show. Yeah. Because the very next day after <laughs> Wendy said this, Zane decided to quit. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, he's 22 years old. He's got this little girlfriend. He's sick in love with her. And also, he's the one who's been having a difficult time adjusting to being famous, correct? Well, he says he didn't want to be famous anymore. But here's the shenanigans. He said he didn't want to be famous anymore. He said he wanted an opportunity to live a private life, to just be a regular person. The very next day, uh -huh. Zane is seen going into a recording studio to work on his solo album. Okay? Come okay. On. What are you talking about? And he was giving interviews. In the interviews, he didn't mention he wanted to be a private person. What he said, he said that he wanted to go in a different direction. He hadn't been satisfied with what was happening in the band. He didn't so, feel like he was being real. He actually had a quote. He says, I feel like I've let the fans down, but I can't do this anymore. It's not that I've turned my back on them or anything. It's just that I can't do that anymore because it's not the real me. Okay, so here's the deal. So the girlfriend is being looked at as the Yoko Ono of this generation. Yes. Break she is up. hashtag, Perry Edwards is hashtag Yoko Ono 2015. And also, they just, uh, Billboard just came out with the list of the wealthiest musicians um, for the year, and One Direction is at the top. Well, here's the thing, Zayn is not gonna be at the top next year because the reason, um, when he left the band, he's basically leaving behind $42 million this year. $42 million for 360 
365 days, it's just gone. Well, it's too bad, and because their friends are young, you know, they get all caught in their feelings when these bands break up. Nobody's gonna buy your music. I don't even know why you're bothering, because your fans, he, he is, they got the type of fans, they don't like to be lied to. Oh my God, he lied to us. <laughs> so he left, he left the group to go solo. <laughs> oh my God. They're, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna buy this music. Nancy, you thank you what? for being here. I appreciate it, thank you for having us. Everybody, check out HuffPost Live for more stories like they like these. Uh, Hot Topic Sound Off is next. <laughs>Get a chance to have a seat, everybody. Um, get a chance to share their opinion on today's hot topics. He's so cute. He told me that coming to the show was on his bucket list. I said, "Are you dying?" He, he said, "No, but I start early." <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Xavier. How you doing? Uh, yes, you are. I am here to sound off about Mariah Carey. Okay. Listen, I am living for the fact that she has a friends with benefits because Brett is Mr. Right Now, not a relationship. Okay. And listen, he has $65 million, okay? Nick, $20 million. Okay. No, let him boat her around St. Barth's all day do, long. Do you, you don't find it because she likes her splashes? You don't yeah, and he doesn't drink. That might be a problem. Yeah. But hey, splash all day, Mariah. Just don't fall in love. Do not fall in do love. Do not fall in love. No love. Thank you, Xavier. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? What are we sounding off about? I'm sounding off on Karuche. My name is Natalie. And I agree with you, Wendy. She is a thought, okay? Ariana is making you relevant. You were nobody before Chris, and all he's going to have to do is wine and dine, and you will be right back with him. Because okay? what, what is she doing? What is she, she's not doing anything. Thank you. Okay, you crying wolf. Everybody knows what was going on behind closed doors. Everybody in social media. So we are going to wake up and see ourselves, and now all we want, oh, Chris did that. We knew that. You see. knew that. Okay. See. They're Stop not. It. Thank you very much. Thank you. They're not just my audience. They come with an opinion. We have time for one more. Hi, How you Wendy. Doing? My name is Liz. How you doing? Hi, Liz. Now, what are you sounding off about? I'm sounding off about Zane okay. from One Direction. Okay. I have a 15-year-old daughter. Uh -huh. I would have never known who Zane was oh. if I didn't have a 15-year-old okay. daughter. She calls me crying, saying, oh, my God, Zane left the group. See? I'm, I'm going to see him in August. So my opinion is, is that he should have finished his commitment and then move on with his solo career. Now... For a girl, he really left for a girl, 22 years Do old. Do you think that your daughter will be a fan of Zayn as a solo artist? Or she will hold it against him? She's very hurt. She cried for like two or three hours. She's very hurt. Very hurt. Remember those days, Mom? Who'd you yes. cry over? Foster Silvers? Who? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> how to get the latest celebrity makeup trends. So don't go away. I've never shared this with anybody. Not even my husband, my son, my parents. I've got a secret. And the secret is, I love doing hot topics. Plus, the very handsome Michael Ealy. They love you, blue eyes. They love you. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. Swing, although it doesn't feel like it here in New York. Anyway, um, it's time to update our makeup. And here to show us the latest celebrity trends in makeup and stuff that we can actually do at home is makeup guru and friend to the show, Bobby Brown. Yeah. Hey. Nice to see you again. Nice okay. We have three Wendy audience members. So let's get started with Zendaya Coleman's look. Yes. Well, first of all, she's so beautiful. And this is all about a bright lip. So in order to rock a bright lip, you have to keep the rest of your makeup nude. Okay? Yes. Clean, pretty, and nude means colors that are right for your skin. Okay. Nude doesn't mean washed out. Uh huh. So whether it's pink, orange, or red, you could play with them. And what you do is. Those are nice chubbies. Aren't these great? Because they're a lipstick and it's a pencil. Let me feel this, how it goes on. They're really creamy. Oh they my are God, really yeah. Creamy. Mm. So we really mix, we mixed a red and an orange, and what you do is you put it on your bottom lip, uh -huh. smack them together. Now, what color is this from your line? A red and an orange. It's, oh, that's what it's called. Well, it's called... <laughs> no? Harlow Red. Harlow Red. And... 
Hot orange. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a perfect red for everybody's complexion. There you is. know, it's just a matter of finding there the is. right one. And with this spring look, you want a bright lip, but you don't want to see the pencil. <laughs> okay? So you want natural, yes. Very nice. She woke up like this. You, yes. like, so you don't you want to use the you don't, don't want to see the line. You don't want to see the yeah. line. You don't want to see the line when you are doing your lips. Now, is she yes. overdoing it by putting gloss over this? She's not overdoing it. It oh, depends what you like. And the great news is the pencils are long wearing, so you could take a little bit of gloss. You don't need a lot. Just and a trick from back from the runway, you put a little bit of gloss up here. Oh. You can even put a touch on the eyes. And when you're dry, it even works on your cuticles. So Perfect. gloss is great. Gloss is good for everything. Yeah. Okay, let's move along. Yep. This is our audience member, Dana. Oh, that was Marie. This is Dana. Hi, yes. Dana. How you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Good. All right, we're gonna try to get Cara Delavive, the, the supermodel's eyebrows. Her brows are good. Those really are good. good. Too. Beautiful. And again, this is a this is a nude face with a strong brow. So it's one thing. That was a lip, this is a brow. Okay. Now to fill in your brow, you want to either use a powdered eyeshadow, and what you do is you start at the inside and you brush them up. Uh. So it's not quite the Brooke Shields from the 80s. It's uh -huh. a little more tamed. And you want to make sure that it's square. If you look at both our model and square and the model, they're square here. It's not rounded, they're square, but also goes on top. Now, you, how far out should your eyebrows go? You should always have your eyebrows a little bit past your eye. Do you remember the old Glamour magazine where yes. you would hold the pencil? Yes. It really does work. Uh -huh. And you also want to have something that you could brush the brow up and then brush it down. Like, like the 80s were all up, oh. now we're brushing it off, but then we're, we're grooming them. They're defined and they're groomed. And if you have crazy eyebrows, uh -huh. you can use a clear brow gel. Yeah, brow gel's good. And it just holds it up in place. It's like hairspray for your eyebrows. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Dana, nice luck. All right, come on, let's Thank go you. over here. This is our audience member, Susanna. Hi, Susanna. Won't you cry for me? <laughs> uh, she's, we're gonna she's get Jennifer Lopez, yep. um, a metallic eye. Right, so Jennifer, you know, rocked this very light bluish color, which is really That's pretty. That's hard to wear. I was just gonna say, I don't love blue eyeshadow. Okay, I made one, oh. but I don't love it. Okay, okay. okay. So, truth That's be told. That's nice, now what color blue, what do you call this blue? It's pastel, and really the only way to do it is really put a little bit on and blend it in because I don't want to overdo it because we don't really want that blue eyeshadow thing. Right. I don't care if it's on the trend, it's not pretty. Okay. So you want to make it pretty. And you're not putting the pencil on the eye, you're using your finger. I'm so using my finger because the great thing is you could use it and you could really go to town with it. Uh -huh. But if you do a little bit and you're diffusing it, and then if you want to add, oh, look up a little bit, you know, on the runway you see underneath. Yeah, that's what Jen has. Right. Someone underneath. You just put a little bit, but always do less than you see on the celebrities and on the runway. Because otherwise, otherwise you look crazy otherwise at the grocery look, store. Yeah, you look a little crazy. Yeah. You do. So, yeah. Well, thank you for you all these trends. You are welcome. Bobby with the tips. For more information on these makeup looks, go to wendyshow.com. Give it up again for the legendary Bobby Brown. Yeah. Ask Wendy is next. There's so much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments, catch my after show, and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Okay. Welcome back. It's time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Good. <laughs> that was good. How can I help? Um, my name is Melissa. I'm 20 years old, and I've been going out with my boyfriend for, tw for four years. And we've been together. Everything is great, but there's only one problem. He's extremely attractive, and girls flock to him. When we're in school, girls are always, oh, hi, hi, trying to get his attention. When we're in restaurants, they look him across. You go to the same college? Yes. Did you plan that, like when you graduated? No, 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 no. I wanted um, he. I told him to go away, but it just didn't happen that way. Okay, okay. And um, yeah, I just want to know how can I tell these girls to back off you without can't, seeming jealous? You can't. He can, and either, either he's not as into you as you might think. Okay. Or um, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> either, either he's not as into you as you might think, mm -hmm. or because he's only 20 like you, yeah. he's not aware that you to show your girlfriend or your wife respect, mm -hmm. you. Put it out there, yeah. back off. I don't care that I'm hot. Okay. Okay? All right, thank All right. you so You're much. You're very, very welcome. Oh. Hi, Wendy. Hi, short stuff. My name is Asiba. Hi, How are you doing? Very, very well, thanks. How can I help you? I have an 18-year-old granddaughter who's a senior in high school. She dropped out of school last week. What? 
Why? She only has a few months to go. Who does that? <laughs> I have 16 other grandchildren. I took her out of my will, but she doesn't know it yet. Should I wait? <laughs> Should I tell her now or wait till I die for her to find out? <laughs> You, you should tell her now. But, but wait a minute, I don't understand. Where are her parents to tell her it's corny to drop out of high school? It's bad enough there are a lot of people that don't go on to college either because they don't have the interest or they can't afford it. But it's real corny in 2015 not to have a high school diploma? Where is she going in her life? She thinks that she's going to be the greatest singer ever. She is talented. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Good, good luck. Good luck. Get back in school. What are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? So my name is Crystal, and my boyfriend is doing a little acting in a play as a favor to his friend. But there's one problem. There's multiple kissing scenes, and I don't feel comfortable with him, you know, kissing other women, of course. Right. But do you think it would be fair for me to tell him, like, I don't want you to do it? It wouldn't be... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, because this is the... I need this answer. Is he an actor by trade? No. Then it would not be... It would, it would be fine if you told him, look, yeah. it's not like she's blocking his acting career. Right. He's doing a favor for a friend. So right. tell his friend to find another friend. How long have you been with him? Eight years. Uh, okay. <laughs> and how old are you? 23. What is wrong with you all being so deeply in love? So young. Go ahead and tell him. It might be a deal breaker. Oh, okay. All right. Very well. Pop quiz is next. It's time for pop quiz. This is where I test our audience on today's hot topics. Let's meet our player. What's your name? Lena from the Bronx. Now, what do you do? What do you do? What are you doing, Lena? What are you doing, Lena? <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm in law enforcement, Wendy. You're a cop? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How long has that been going on? 17 years. I'm almost out of here. Good for you. Okay. Um, you were paying attention during Hot Topics? Yes. All right, because if you get well, this right, we get a nice prize for you, Copper. <laughs> All right, look. Dwayne Johnson? Which... <laughs> no, he, he is a nice prize. The Rock. <laughs> um, which famous DJ is Taylor Swift reportedly dating? A, Calvin Harris, B, Diplo, or C, David Guetta? Oh, Wendy, I'm way too old for this. Um, mm -mm, um, don't say anything. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But I think it was Calvin Harris. Yeah! Makeup guru Bobby Brown plus Nancy Red from the Huffington Post, Huff Post Live. I'm um, also my co host, my fantastic studio audience. <laughs> Tomorrow, the handsome and talented Michael Ely stops by. Plus, we've got you covered with all the latest hot topics. Come on now. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Monday. Bye.